Welcome to our video tutorial on submitting a report using Incident Tracker. To submit a new report, you must first navigate to the Submit Report page. You can find a link at the top in the navigation bar. The first step when submitting a new report is to select the incident date and location. To set the date of the incident, first click the small calendar icon to select the date. Then proceed to type in the time. You may also use the Insert Local Time link to quickly insert your local time into the text box. Note that the time does not need to be in a time format. You may use a descriptive time term such as noon or 1 to 2 p.m. You'll then select the location of the incident. Locations may be customized by your administrator. Administrators will have access to the Customize Locations button that allows them to add, edit, and remove locations and sublocations. To select a location, click the drop down for main location. If your main location has a sublocation, a drop down for sublocations will appear. If it does not, you may move to selecting categories. The second step is to select categories. If you are an administrator, you have access to the Customize Categories button. To select a category, click the checkbox next to each category you want to select. You may select multiple categories for each report. The third step in the process is to type in a description for the incident. There are various formatting options available to you within the description text box. You may also use the far right icon to insert an image into the description. The final step is to add people involved with the incident as well as witnesses. As you add people, either as those involved or witnesses, their information is retained into the system for future use. If you type in a name and click the magnifying glass next to the text box, you'll search the system for that user. Note that as you type in a name, if the user exists in the system, the text box will offer to autocomplete the name for you. To add the person, simply click the Add Person button. You will notice that a new set of text boxes appears if you need to add multiple people. Once you've completed each of the four steps, you may then click the Submit Report button. Note that you can also click the Submit Report with Clary data to include the incident information with your Clary reporting data. You have successfully completed the report, and this will bring an end to our video. Thank you.